hey hello guys so welcome back to other interesting video so today we are gonna make some weldment design uh, by help of uh, a kind of a pipe structure which i'm gonna use now so again uh, this is a kind of a furniture design uh, with uh, it's it's a, like very simple and uh, elegant design for uh, a kind of a dining or the school who use have a kind of a tables along with the chair so this was gonna be helpful for that and um, without wasting much time let's start with the structure as usual we'll just make a, a sketch by selecting a front plane so i'm gonna draw a basic structure for that uh, table so here this uh, table can be uh, adjustable at the end of the video you will come to know like how can we use for the both like table and chair along with the same design only a few dimensions we can modify and then we can use that so such a way we am going to do that so uh, just let me draw up a frame uh, so let me uh, make this two or a symmetry and this in the top will make uh, around 30 uh, inch and uh, I don't know, uh, let's let's do that into somewhere around 60 inch this could be a 35 something like that and this will be at around 30 yep so then we'll make some corners around 2 inch yes or probably higher like it depends on your size of the pipe uh, you can just do however you want so for now i will just make a 2 and uh, 2 inch should be fine for my design uh, maybe it depends on the pipe size we can modify it so now i'm gonna do a structural membrane for under a weld domain so we're gonna select the structural membrane again iso pipe and uh, this time i'm gonna select the higher size so i will be using 33.7 but again so if it is, it is available to you that can be adjustable after making this pipe you can just go to the sketch and then modify according to your need so i'm gonna make complete sketch i'm gonna select you can also select the loop but there is no loop here okay fine so we'll select by manually all the entities and i'm gonna select okay so yes so now uh, the frame so structure is ready so then just i'm gonna disable the sketch option the rest or let it be like that so <coughs> So now uh, what I'm going to do is I just want to make slight uh, rotation uh, to make uh, some slight angle uh, to my profile. So I'm just going to select the uh, under direct editing move bo copy bodies or you can just type over here. I'm going to select this or before that. So we will make this all uh, entities as a single body. Yes. Yeah. And now sorry so now uh, I'm gonna do rotate this body by keeping my temporary axis as a reference by rotation I'm gonna select this and select the body again and around 30 degree let, let, let's see like how much angle do we need yes so turn 25 uh, yeah 30 can be done and depends on your need like you can also adjust but there should be a slide to hold the part so if it is straight it may not be suitable so we always try to make some angle to support the top body i mean top hood or whatever the support so like I, and you will come to know uh, yes now uh, we have rotated the our frame so we are gonna make an additional uh, support to hold the base i mean the top so now i'm gonna select a right plane before that uh, what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna create a two planes so that will help me to create a, a kind of a parallel surface for the extrude so uh, 
before that let me go to the sketch let me switch on the sketch okay i will keep this reference this both like axis and the sketch based on that i need a, a plane so yeah now i got the plane based on these two reference similarly i'm gonna do uh, both sides yes so now you will understand why these two planes are needed i'm gonna right click select the right plane i'm gonna draw a sketch yes definitely yeah so i'm gonna select the plane yes so this is gonna help to create some kind of a profile it's just a random profile for i like this way but still like if you want like you can just modify according to your need so uh, now uh, how are we going to make this like this this is my uh, thickness of the plate so i just want to keep some two inches of the plate uh, from the base uh, maybe yeah it will be like uh, around 30 60 inch we used but okay we will keep some two inch of the plate inside so that gap i have kept or maybe you can also give some clearance over there so now i will make uh, around 25 and this could be around uh, five inch makes sense yes five inch or yeah five inch should be fine and this is could be six inch and then this we will make it as 45 degree as you should yes and this this is gonna be a yeah this is fine i guess like for a six inch we will make to make it more. Okay, a five inch should be fine, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, yep, uh, so after making this profile, like we will make the extrude. Uh, so we'll make to surface. So now you understand why we have created that plane that will help us to make up to that particular uh, face so uh, and again on the other direction uh, up to surface uh, we are going to use this so that this will st stand for that particular you know uh, structure so now uh, even though i prefer like we can keep but still uh, if you make a little more angle towards um, inside so uh, that will be more elegant look that we will be getting it so uh, i'm gonna use uh, this neutral face and uh, these two sides i would like to have around a 10 degree or something like that let's see <coughs> sorry okay it's it's turned around uh, the other way so try to make it flip and go yes that makes sense so that will uh, looks good so even if you give a, a plate on top of that so that uh, will not you know uh, visible um, at some angle so uh, now uh, making this like we'll make some little uh, fillet over and bottom so some five inch something like that or three inch it will be small like five inch should be enough decent so <clears throat> now uh, we'll make a shell of point so it depends on your thickness and the pipe you can decide your thickness of the sheet okay so uh, it's it's now i'm gonna make a, a shell after that um, that shell can be converted as a sheet metal part so yes for sure so this is all i'm gonna remove um, and i'm gonna make this so now this is partially a sheet metal part but uh, even if you want to do a laser cut or something like that so that time it will be more you know uh, you need a flattened uh, part so from here this extrude cannot be done so i'm gonna make uh, this convert this part into a uh, sheet metal part so by that i'm gonna use this convert sheet metal part so where i'm gonna select this my sheet metal and this bending edge could be uh, my uh, these two edges oops sorry come on Select all bends. Let's see. 
in if it is no we have to select it by manually no no yes i want like that and also this also to be done like that agent face color is on the same side of the plate okay <coughs> Sorry, I have selected the interface. Okay, we have to select the outer. So now uh, this looks like the uh, and also we thickness can be modified according to your need. So for now I'm gonna make 0.25 and the bending radius could be a uh, uh, 0.5 something or more than that also can be done like one inch so it will be more. Yeah, so uh, this you can modify uh, as per your need and now i'm gonna select okay so now this part become a, a, a sheet metal part so this we can weld it each other based on your size of the pipe so yeah now uh, for the base uh, we need some uh, rest uh, you know in order to make uh, some scratch or this uh, the structural so we gonna make some uh, kind of a nylon bush so that will help to hold the part from the scratch okay so um I'm gonna select the right plane, okay, and we'll make some quick design to make some rest for this part. Yeah, this is my center. I'm just gonna hold this, and yep, yes. So I will select this face and make an intersection curve so that the intersection curve will appear, and I'm gonna remove this yes okay i will make point eight yes yeah let it be from the center and also from all the sides let it be like point eight and point eight but if you see oh sorry if you see there is a very minimal gap of that let's see if it is okay i think this should be fine okay <coughs> sorry okay so i'm gonna extrude and i will not make this time a blind of uh, uh, two inch or 2.5 will make a good to hold the part so i will just make some offset five inch okay or 10 inch yes 10 inch max since and yes so now i'm gonna select the uh, right plane to mirror the part i mean mirror the body so select the body and go for a body to mirror so select this body this will become a body but you should not merge anything so it's already a separate body so it will be coming over there so uh, make the color uh, if you want this body to be appear in white so make this also be a white and no however like different uh, people have a different opinion of the color so for uh, a common uh, color which i would like to select here so i have just selected white uh, for the frame and for the foot i have selected this black nylon part so now uh, so this our uh, structure is ready so i'm gonna use again an offset uh, from this plane to 50 uh, towards other direction and uh, we'll go with the mirror option so body to mirror i just like to have this body this body oh please oh my god okay clear just control a or select all bodies oops why anyone knows reason why this body is not getting selected <laughs> okay let's see let's see yes we'll delete we'll select this body i would like to have this body as well i'm not getting that and only these two bodies i'm getting it i supposed to get this body as well okay mm, what could be the reason Rest all I want. Oh my god. Okay, let's hide this confusion. Yeah. 
sheet metal part will not get the mirror it should it should get mirror let me let me okay i will go for one more of mirror i'm gonna select this body mm -hmm. why not before it got not selected i don't know <laughs> okay let's see let's give it a try again and come back and select this mm -hmm. some issue i'm not sure uh, if anyone knows uh, about this feature error just specify why this mirror is not happening for the sheet metal part i think uh, to me uh, it, i should give a separate uh, by selecting again i'm gonna select the mirror and this time i want to select this body to give okay so just comment below uh, what was the issue or i have done what i have mentioned it was that correct like the sheet metal and other bodies has to be given a separate uh, op, you know the features to get mirror okay so now uh, I'm gonna create a, a top profile. This time we'll select the right plane and gonna create. Yes. So this time we'll enable, I mean, like use this option like around 15 inch. Yes. And also the same, same thing we'll do here. Both sides. So, this is this reference? I'm gonna keep 15 m offset. I mean 15 inch. Sorry, I got uh, confused between this m and h. Sorry. And now I'm gonna keep the top to the rest of this structure. And as you know, like before we made a two inch. So the same thing I'm gonna keep now here. And uh, yes, so I will extrude, and I will make. 5 inch, sorry, 15 inch. Earlier we made some 30 inch, so we'll try to make 30, but it will definitely hit the over here. So uh, 25 or 28. Yes, 28 makes sense. And I'm gonna select OK. And gonna use the chamfer for the top surface. Probably a 0.5. Oh, 0.5. Or one inch, yeah, one inch makes sense. Yeah, so I would like to have this, and also I'm gonna apply uh, some wood material over there. For that, you go just appearance and select for an organic and go for an wood. So, whatever you like, you have to apply. Uh, okay, I will go with this. some random, random design. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Have this, but it's slow, so so. <laughs> So contrast, so I just go with this. Mm. Okay, not bad, but still, if you want like a very soft DDL, then you can go with this. Yep, as favorite as. So now uh, you understood like this a top table is ready. Uh, so we will uh, make this part one, and uh, again we will copy the same thing, and uh, in that we are gonna reduce the total height, and. Uh, and width so that you will get the chair for this so that you can just put nearby the table and we can use for the multiple purpose so uh, this is how we have to uh, make uh, this like you know a, a table and chair with a couple or a pad uh, to make this design uh, i hope uh, you uh, you people like i mean you have liked this video uh, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh, for the more interesting video um, i plan to make more interesting videos for you so it's not get bored uh, definitely please comment if you have any suggestions or uh, feedback uh, i will do more and more videos in future thank you see you in another video bye bye